couple of years back, I used to work at a library. It was kind of my summer job when I was back home from college. It was an old and relatively quiet library that was on the edge of town and about 10 minutes away from my house. One night, I was asked to work late past closing time because we had a lot of organizing that we needed to do. Once we were closed, I became the only person working there. This was the first time I had been there all alone and it was kind of cool. And I figured it would only take me about an hour to get the rest of the stuff done. I began taking the cart of books around and putting them on the shelves that they belonged to. About 10 minutes into this, I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I really couldn't tell what it was. And when I looked in the direction that I saw it coming from, there was nothing. I figured it was a fly or something like that. But that's when I saw between the bookshelves a person walking. There were several spaces in between where books were, which allowed you to see through the bookshelves. There wasn't enough space at all to see exactly who the person was, but I could just tell that there was a person. Nobody was supposed to be in here but me. I was sure that the library had been completely empty, but I suddenly got a nervous feeling, so I called out hello to whoever was there. I got no reply, so I just told them that we were closed and said they needed to leave. I was hoping this would get whoever it was to at least come out, but they didn't. The more it was silent, the more nervous I got. Whoever it was seemed to be hiding from me. I stood there not really knowing what to do for a few minutes. Then I saw movement again. This time it was at another aisle of shelves that was on the other side of the room. I had no idea how they could have gotten there without me seeing. I wanted to get out of there, but whoever it was, I would have to walk by the aisle that they were in to get to the exit. I went into another row of bookshelves that was farther away from the person. I sat there listening for noise and trying to decide how I was going to get out of there. I thought about calling my boss who had gone home, but I knew with how quiet it was it would make a ton of noise. Just then, I noticed something directly on the other side of the bookshelf I was facing. It was a face staring at me between two books. The person was now on the other side of the shelf. It was the most scared I had ever been in my life. I jumped up and ran for the exit. I fully expected whoever it was to chase me, but I didn't care. I just wanted to get out of there. But when I passed the row they were in, they were just gone. There was nobody there in the aisle. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, but nevertheless, I ran all the way out of there and called my boss as soon as I got outside. He arrived about 15 minutes later as I waited in my car with all the doors locked. He went inside and looked around. He came back a while later and said that he didn't see anybody in there at all, and whoever it was must have left. I never stayed late after that and quit the job at the end of the summer. I've been able to mainly work from home for my job for the past couple of years. It has a lot of good benefits for me. But one day, as I was in the middle of an important work day, the Wi-Fi in my apartment building went completely out. I first tried the hotspot on my phone, but I soon found out that the signal on it was much too weak for me to get done the things that I needed to do. I decided to go down to the library that was nearby and use their Wi-Fi. There was one that was pretty close by, and when I got there, the library was pretty quiet. I sat in the corner where there were some desks and a few other people working. I began getting my work done just as I would at home. Some time later, I saw a man walk over and approach me. I didn't recognize him, but he looked to be a little bit older than me and overall seemed pretty average. I took out my headphones and he said hi to me. He then asked me if I remembered him. I looked hard at him for a few seconds and I knew for a fact that I had never seen him before. No, I'm sorry, I said. Do I know you from something? The man acted surprised and said he couldn't believe it. Then he laughed and just said okay and shook his head. I said maybe he was mistaking me for someone else, but the man shook his head and said no. Then he stood there just kind of looking at me for a few seconds before turning and walking away. It was strange, but I just went back to work. A short time later though, I noticed that the man was just sitting at a table across from the room watching me. He didn't seem to be really doing anything. He didn't have any books and he wasn't on a computer or anything like that. It made me a little uncomfortable, but I had work to do, so I did my best to just ignore it and focus on my computer. Finally, a while later, I noticed that he was gone. I looked all around the room to make sure, 
and was happy to see that he was, in fact, not in there anymore. I worked about another hour and then was finally done for the day. I packed up my laptop and the rest of my things and left to go back to my car. When I was in the parking lot approaching my car, I saw there was another car parked rather close to mine, and in the driver's seat was the man I had spoken with earlier. I felt really uncomfortable when I saw this. He was just sitting in the driver's seat of his car looking at me. I kept my eyes on my car and thought about going back into the library, but decided that would be too weird and to just get to my car and drive away. I unlocked my car and opened the door when I got there. I got inside and was just getting in when I heard the man's door unlock and start to open. I hurried to get in and close my doors and start my engine. As I was starting it, I heard the man knock on my window several times. I turned and looked at him and saw he was motioning for me to roll down my window. I didn't really want to, but I did just a crack. The man asked me where I was going, but seemed to have an angrier tone this time. He then said to me, yeah, I don't really know you, so what? He then reached and opened my door, and I tried to pull it shut, but it got away from me. All I could think to do was drive away. I put the car into drive and sped out of the parking lot. The man let go when I did and ran for his car. I was quick to leave and make a few sharp turns, and I don't believe the man followed me because I never saw him again. One thing I'm sure of is never to go back to that library. The next day I reported the incident, but I still don't feel safe going back there. This happened to me way back when I was 16. I was working a job at the desk of my local library, helping people check out books and return them. It was a fairly small library, so there would usually be just one or two of us working at once. One Saturday, I had the opening shift, so I got there early in the morning and made sure things were in order before getting ready to open the doors. I got to my desk and started up the computer when I heard a loud crashing noise coming from the back of the library. It really startled me, and I knew it had to be done by a person, but nobody was supposed to be in the library at this time. I got really quiet and listened. I didn't hear anything for a while, so I decided I had to go check it out. As I was walking over there, I was convincing myself that it was really nothing, but when I made it around the corner to the back end of the library, I saw what looked like a homeless man hiding behind a bookshelf which had fallen over. I froze when I saw this because I really wasn't expecting it. The man then locked eyes with me, and all of a sudden got up and began charging at me. He was about 30 feet away, so I turned and ran as fast as I could to get out of the library. But I realized how quickly the man was coming at me and didn't think I would be able to make it out. I turned to the bathrooms and ran inside them. They were individual rooms that locked, so I figured I would be safe in there. I was just able to make it in and lock the door before the man followed. He tried getting in and then started pounding on the door and yelling. I took out my phone and called the police and told them the situation. They told me they would arrive in under 10 minutes, and after I did, I screamed to the man I had called the police and they were on their way. That seemed to work because he walked away and I didn't hear any more noises. I remained in the bathroom waiting for police to get there. After about probably five minutes, but felt like a lot longer, I thought about leaving the bathroom, but decided not to just to be safe. A short time later, I heard the police arrive and eventually they got to the bathroom and I came out. What they told me when I came out was when they arrived they saw the man hiding around the corner of the bathrooms with a piece of wood in his hands as if he was waiting to attack me. I'm very glad I stayed hiding in there and didn't come out.